I put the T, tinfliximab. I have given the name by the tinfliximab. Tinfliximab, TB reactivation. Yes, my dear. So you can remember. So in UK also, highest number of the TB cases are seen in the immigrant peoples. So my dear, listen very carefully. The scenario starts with the Bangladeshi man. So please think about the tuberculosis, my dear. Yes, my dear doctor. Another important topic that I'm discussing now, the rheumatoid arthritis management, my dear. It's a very important hot topic for the exam. Five-star topic, my dear. Means it will definitely encounter in your exam, my dear. So just let me read from the scenario, from the notes, my dear. The management of the rheumatoid arthritis has been revolutionized by the introduction of the disease-modifying therapies in the past decade. Patients with evidence of joint inflammation should start a combination of the disease-modifying drugs as soon as possible. Other important treatment options including the analgesia, physiotherapy, and surgery. Initial therapy in 2018, the NICE updated their rheumatoid arthritis guidelines. They recommend the DMRD monotherapy with or without a short course of bridging prednisolone. In the past, dual DMRDs was advocated as the initial preparations. So here's my dear, an example that I'm giving the 52-year-old presents to the rheumatology outpatient clinics with the three months history of the severe pain on her hands. She has no significant past medical history. On examination, there are swelling and erythema of the first, second, and third metacarpophalangeal joints on both hands. She is diagnosed with the rheumatoid arthritis. Monitoring response to the treatment. So which treatment that you need to start in this, in our case, definitely you should start with the one DMRTs along with the corticosteroid, my dear. So yes, the monitoring response to the treatment, NICE recommends a combination of CRP and disease activity scoring system using the composite scores such as the DAS-28, such as the DAS disease activity score, DAS, there is a DAS-24 scoring, my dear, to assess the response to the treatment. So this is very much important. So circle the CRP, circle the DAS-28. Flares. Flares of the rheumatoid arthritis are often managed with the corticosteroids, oral or intramuscular. Circle the flares, circle the corticosteroids, my dear. DMRDs. The methotrexate is the most widely used DMRDs. Circle the methotrexate. Monitoring FBC and LFTs is essential due to the risk of myelosuppression operation and liver cirrhosis and other important side effects include the pneumonitis. So the methotrexate, circle the methotrexate. Sulfur cellagene, lefronamide, hydroxychloroquine. I said the methotrexate, M methotrexate, and the next drug is the sulfur cellagene. So MS and LL mitre. LL means lefronamide, and there was a loroquine, means hydroxychloroquine. So MS LL mitre, so you can remember. TNF alpha blockers, yes, my dear. The current indication of the TNF blockers is inadequate response to at least the DMRDs, two DMRDs, including the methotrexate. So start with the two DMRDs. Circle the methotrexate. Circle the TNF blockers. The drugs are the etanarsef, circle the etanarsef, recombinant human protein, acts the decoy receptor, circle the decoy for TNF alpha. Subcutaneous administration can cause the demyelination, circle the demyelination. Risk include the reactivation of tuberculosis. Infliximab, circle the infliximab, the monoclonal antibody binds to the TNF alpha, circle the TNF alpha, and prevents it from binding with the TNF receptors. Intravenous administration and risks include the reactivation of tuberculosis, circle the reactivation of tuberculosis. And adalimumab, circle the adalimumab, there is a monoclonal antibody, subcutaneous administration, circle the adalimumab. Yes, my dear. And next drug is the rituximab, anti CD20, circle the rituximab. Circle the CD20 monoclonal antibody results in B cell depletion. Circle the B cell. Two one gram IV infusions, intravenous infusions. Circle the two. Circle the uh, uh, two weeks apart. Circle the two. And infusion reactions are common. Circle the infusion reactions, my dear. Abatacept. Circle the abatacept. Yes, my dear. The fusion protein that molecules a key signal required for activation of the T lymphocytes leads to the decreased T-cell proliferation and cytokine production, gives as an invasion and not currently recommended by the nice mitre. Abatacept is not currently recommended by the nice mitre. So yes, my dear doctor, I'd like to discuss the rheumatoid arthritis management. It's really important. Why not the 
rheumatoid arteries, the active rheumatoid arteries is diagnosed immediately after that, that you need to start the treatment myelin with the DMRDs, single DMRDs with the corticosteroid myelin, including the methotrexate, which is the most commonly used drug. So I would like to give you the important SS boxes myelin that is really important. Yes, so that you can remember the important things altogether, by the So SS box myelin. The rheumatoid arthritis management, yes, my dear. the boxes that I'm giving, the management. So the boxes, if you write it down, this is, if it is the active rheumatoid arthritis, if I'm writing like the way, active rheumatoid arthritis, the box will be MAC, my dear. The, the recently, the nice changes, the guidelines, because initially it was, the two DMRDs should be started. But now in 2019, 2018, they say that, yes, it has to be changed. Only the single DMRDs can be used along with the corticosteroid. So including the M4 methotrexate, my dear. So methotrexate and corticosteroid should be started whenever the active rheumatoid artery is diagnosed immediately after that. Yes, my dear, methotrexate and corticosteroid. Short courses of corticosteroid and M4 methotrexate. So you can write down what does this really M for methotrexate and C for corticosteroid. Yes, my dear. The small boxes here. So this is very much important, my dear, listen very carefully. Another box that I'm writing a little bit here, the SS box, the rheumatoid arthritis once again, what are the DMRs? This is very much important, my dear. The rheumatoid artery disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, if you're writing the way I'm writing here. So, initially, the rheumatoid artery was managed by the, only by some physiotherapy, some NSS, my dear. So why not the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs is revolutionized or invented the first time in the market so that yes the guidelines changed they say that DMRD should be started at the initial point but previously when it was earlier so first time that we used to use the NSS fast and some physiotherapy if it is not controlled the DMRDs then the guidelines changed they say the DMRD should be started at the initial point and it goes on but when the DMRD is immersed in the market mind. There's a long list of drugs, the DMR is immersed and they are being used for a long quite time, but we have seen so many adverse effects of the long-term use of the sound of the DMR is. Now this list has reduced into a very small numbers of the DMR is. So these small numbers that I'm writing, this is very much important, DMR is equal to if I'm writing, so only miss we can write down LL minor. This means LL, this is really important. M for the name that you need to remember, methotrexate, and S for sulfur cellagene, and L for leflunomide, and L for loroquine. If I'm writing the loroquine, means a hydroxychloroquine. Means a hydroxychloroquine minor within the bracket. So we can write down the way my dear writing. So these are the DMRDs nowadays in the used mind, yeah? The methotrexate, sulfur cellogene, MSLL, L for loroquine, and once again L for leflunomide, my leflunomide and loroquine. So now the question is, my dear, that's the active rheumatoid arthritis, we start the treatment with the methotrexate, the single DMRDs with the corticosteroid. If it is not controlled, then you can add another DMRD smider. So it means the method is already going on, the single DMRD, so you can add another DMRD. And we prefer that the sulfur cellogene, leflunomide, and also loroquine, whatever my idea. So with the two DMRs, 
if it is not controlled, that is very much important. If the two DMRD is, if it is not the new if it is not controlled, then you can use the monoclonal antibody. Yes, my dear, the MAP monoclonal antibody. That is the TNF alpha blockers, my dear. This is one of the important talk I'd like to discuss, my dear. TNF alpha blockers. So the questions will become, my dear, so while the TNF alpha blockers that you can initiate, so you can write down is nothing but, if I'm writing here, yes, is nothing but, we can write the if after use of two DMRs. Yes. Yes, my dear. Two DMRs. So the TNF alpha blockers after two DMRs that you should you can use two DMRs. So this is very much important, my dear, including whatever, but must that, that, that you should start with the method to exit first. And another box, my dear, I'm adding here. So I never during the treatment, the monitoring the response to the treatment. Monitoring the response to the treatment, monitoring, if I'm writing, how you will do my dear. Monitoring to the response to the treatment is really important. The combinations of CD, my dear, if I'm writing CD, yes. The box, my dear. What does this really CD really mean? C for CRP and D for DAS28, my dear. Disease activity scoring 28. This is the important box, my dear. Yes. The next one, this is very much in the rheumatoid arthritis, the flares. The another box, the SS box, my dear. Write down the way that I'm writing. Rheumatoid arthritis, the flares. How we will treat the flares? The single box equal to corticosteroid, my dear. Corticosteroid. So yes, my dear, this is the box that you need to learn. Corticosteroid, my dear. So yes, as I say in my the DMR is the next treatment should be the TNF alpha blockers. So it is seen that tumor necrosis factor alpha plays an important role in the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. So we can make a box for the here, the SS box, that rheumatoid arthritis pathogenesis, if I'm writing the pathogenesis, the TNF alpha plays a greatest role in the pathogenesis of TNF alpha blocker means the rheumatoid arthritis. So that's why the TNF alpha blockers is emerging, my dear. Yes, to use, to control the symptoms and the active disease altogether. So I'd like to talk a little bit to the TNF alpha blockers. So TNF alpha blockers, my dear. Just write down the way I'm writing TNF alpha blockers. So TNF alpha blockers, the drug are infliximab, adalimumab, and etanarcev, or infliximab, etanarcev, and adalimumab. I'm writing, this is very much important, the TNF alpha blockers are uh, risks to develop the T4 TB reactivation, the single box that you need to remember. What I said, the TNF alpha blockers is the risk to develop the TB reactivation, T for T minor, that you, know, you must remember. So that's why what we did, this is very much the TNF alpha blockers, the drugs are, I put the infliximab, infliximab, yes, my dear, I put the T, tinfliximab, I have given the name, my dear, tinfliximab, tinfliximab, TB reactivation, yes, my dear, so you can remember, tinfliximab is a TNF alpha blocker, is a TB reactivation, means all the drugs can cause the TB reactivation, but once again, the TNF, tinfliximab, equal to TNF alpha blockers equal to TB reactivation. 
So this is one of the box mileage that you need to remember. The next drug is the eta narcept. I put D mileage means the deta narcept. Deta narcept D for yes mileage demyelination. We can write down demyelination is the result mileage. So that you can remember. And another drug is the adalimumab. Yes, adalimumab. So these are the three drugs. Yes, my dear. So I have written, this is very much important, yes, my dear. So as I said, the infliximab, etanarsa, I put the T4, T infliximab, T4, TNL alpha, T4, TV reactivation, D4, detanarsa, D4, demyelination, and the adalimumab. So TDA, so if I'm writing small way, yes. So we can write down the T, D, A, my dear, is a box for the TNF alpha blockers. The, all the TNF alpha blockers can cause the TB reactivation, but known, known to this factor that the tinfliximab, T, TNF alpha blockers, T4, TB reactivation, my dear. Once again, the DTNRs have the demyelination and adalimumab, the three important drugs. And the drugs that I'd like to add here, this is really important, the this as because the TNF alpha blockers might listen very as I say they all can cause the TB reactivation but so just feel it like if the peoples from Bangladesh from India the TB prone drone might have or the immigrants to the UK from India and Bangladesh or maybe the Pakistan especially the Indian Bangladesh I'm talking about the TB are the normal inhabitants of the Bangladeshi or the Indian peoples. So in UK also highest number of the TB cases are seen in the immigrant peoples. So my dear listen very carefully, the scenario starts with the Bangladeshi man, so please think about the tuberculosis my dear. Means what I'm saying my dear, if the peoples having already have the TB in their body, so if you use the TNF alpha blockers in that paper, so the TB reactivation easily happens. So in Bangladesh or Bangladesh immigrants peoples, usually the TB means that tinfliximab means that TNF alpha blockers are not used. Yes, my dear. So this is very much important. So in that case, I'm doing sometimes the fun with the drug, the rituximab. So what is left behind for the Bangladeshi drug? In Bangladesh, you can use the bituximab. I put the name the bituximab instead of rituximab, my dear. So this is the Bangladeshi drug, yes, my dear. So this bituximab or rituximab, you can use the mechanism of action. The bituximab is a anti, I'm writing the BD20. BD means Bangladesh, so you can remember. Actually, this is CD, yes, so that you can remember. And BD20 is working with the B cell depletion. B cell depletion, yes, my dear. So, yes, B cell depletion. So, this is the one important box once again. Yes, my dear. So if I'm writing the biduximab, yes, my dear, you see I'm writing now the biduximab, BD20, B cell depletion. So once again, biduximab, BD20, B cell depletion, biduximab, BD20, B cell depletion, biduximab, BD20, B cell depletion. The macular actions are coming, my dear, to example. So you need to know them, BD20, biduximab, so yes. And the another drug that is not actually recommended by the NICE, so I'm writing a box for the another drug which is not used by the, or not recommended by the, yes, the NICE, that is nothing but the Ebatacept. So I'm writing the way that I'm writing, just follow me, Ebatacept. So Ebatacept is usually the fusion protein that modules uh, Modulate is a key signal required for the activation of the T lymphocyte. So T4, just write down the 
T lymphocytes might T lymphocytes and leads to T cell proliferation. Yes, so you can write down T cell proliferation decreased T cell proliferation and cytokine production. So yes, so that is the drug that you need to learn, my dear, the abatacept, so that you can remember the T4, T cell, T lymphocytes, my dear, activation. So fusion protein, the abatacept fusion protein that modulates the key signal required for the activation of T lymphocytes leads to decreased T cell production and cytokines. The single word then you need to remember about tarsept. Tarsept is a T cell depletion, my dear, T cell uh, proliferation videos. So that's it. So yes, my dear, the, we already learned the, some of the important tips and tricks here. The box says, this is really important, starting with the first box that I'd like to discuss. Yes, the rheumatoid artery is the management, then active rheumatoid artery is, active rheumatoid artery is nothing but the MAC, my dear. So management is a MAC, rheumatoid artery is management is a MAC. I'm writing here, MAC, my dear, yes. So M4, yes, methotrexate, and C4, corticosteroids. If this is not controlled, so another DMR is, especially the other DMRs are the SLL, my dear. So other DMRs are SLL. You can write down the way I'm writing. Whatever, my dear. If it is not controlled, then the two DMRs, this is very much important. The next step, the TNF alpha blockers. So this is the box, my dear, that you need to know this is very much important. I'm writing number two step and number three box for the TNF alpha blockers indications. And number four, the rheumatoid arthritis treatment monitoring by CD, C4 CRP, and D4 DMR. This means the DAS, sorry, DAS 28. And number five is the rheumatoid arthritis, that is the FLAS treatment by C, my dear. Yes, means the corticosteroid treatment, my dear. The next one, number six. The DMRs are nothing but mis LL my dear. DMR is mis LL. M4 methotrexate, S4 sulfur sulfur, L4 leflunomy, L4 loroquine, means a hydroxychloroquine. And number seven important box, that is the rheumatoid arteries pathogenesis, is nothing but TNF alpha blockers is involved in pathogenesis. And number eight, the TNF alpha blockers are the TB reactivation, my dear, is nothing but the TDA. TDA is TDA. Yes, my dear. The TDA, T4 tinfliximab, D4 detonarsep, A4 adalimumab. So once again, T4 tinfliximab, T4 tinfliximab, once again, T4 tinfliximab, TNF alpha blockers, and TB reactivation. Detonarsep, demyelination, and adalimumab. Yes, my dear. So next important box, my dear, as we already learned, the eight number nine is the bituximab. Bituximab is the BD20 and B cell depletion. Bituximab, BD20, B cell depletion. And last number 10 box, once again, that is the ebatacept, is a T cell depletion, my dear. So summary box, once again, I'd like to give a summary box, my dear. This is very much important. This is box of management. Rheumatoid artery management is a MAC. Yes, my dear, rheumatoid artery management is a MAC, my dear, summary box. And second is the air is in another SL, if, if MAC is not controlled, the SL, the another DMR is. And the TNF alpha blocker is the two DMR is. And next is the rheumatoid artery is monitoring, is the CD, my dear. And once the rheumatoid artery is flares, is nothing but the corticosteroid. And next is the DMR is are the MSLL, my dear, MSLL, say with me MSLL. And rheumatoid artery is pathogen, is the TNF alpha, is involved and TNF alpha blockers as TDA, TB reactivation. Once again, TDA and TB, TB reactivation. Tinfliximab, TNF alpha blockers, TB reactivation. Detonarsep, demyelination, biduximab, BD20. Biduximab is a BD20 and B cell depletion. And last, Ebatacept is a T cell depletion, my dear. I hope that, my dear, the remedial arteries management, the important tips and tricks, and also the SS boxes, really helpful for exam, my dear, altogether. Thank you, thank you very much.